Quick, quick. Oh, he's gone, I think. All right, the next highlight I'm having a bit of a look at here. Well, it's not a highlight for me, really. It was um, <laughs> one of the most disturbing moments, I guess, of the 2005 Ashes series. Here we see Damien Martin just playing a forward defence into the offside. This is the fourth test, actually, at, uh, at Trent Bridge. Gary Pratt, substitute fieldsman, runs in, picks the ball up and runs out me um, at a, quite a crucial moment of the test match. Um, you can see how happy the England boys were there. I've only never really looked at their celebrations because I've always been keeping an eye on myself when I've seen the replay of this. You can see the boys there looking in my direction. There's a bit of carry on for me here, looking back in the Englishman's direction, having a few words with them. And the background to the whole thing was that leading into this series, we sort of knew how England were going to use their substitute fielders. And I'd actually mentioned it to the match referee in the referee's meeting before the first test that we had concerns about how long the England substitutes stay on the field for and um, who their substitutes were. For you, where we come from in Australia, your 12th man is your 12th man and you know, he goes out and does the fielding. But um, yeah, they'd recruited pretty nimble, fleet-footed Gary Pratt to come and do some cover fielding for them and he ran me out. So uh, yeah, I was a bit disappointed. Like I was 48 not out at the time as well in a crucial moment of the test match. There's some footage of me there having a few choice words to Duncan Fletcher on the way up. Um, he was standing on their balcony with a big smile on his face and that just got, got to me a little bit. So uh, I expressed my uh, displeasure at, at that smile and um, as I said, it was just at that stage, it was, that England were in within the rules of the game, but for, as far as we were concerned, it wasn't within the spirit of the way um, Test cricket or Ashes cricket should be played. Um, but that, that, that is what it is, I guess. Uh, as, it, as it turned out, England went on to win that particular test match, which was a very close game. I think England chased a small total in the fourth innings and got them maybe seven down. Ashley Giles, I think, hit the winning runs. But I caught up with Gary Pratt actually at the end of the series and at the Oval. Um, actually signed a pair of my shoes and gave them to him and it's the last I've seen of him, thank God. <laughs> For more great Ashes content, click here.